Welcome to hell. This is not a molten lava underworld, but a cave system beneath London belonging to the Hellfire Club, known for their horrific treatment of prisoners. Now it is home to poltergeist activity. The lady in white who plays games with your mind and shadow figures that are always watching you. At the furthest point is the inner temple that lives beneath a church and known as hell. This is where we told the demons that live within it to make our body their home. Do you want to take over our bodies? Oh. On this night, this place is hell. There's no one else with us, is We're all here. There's, there's uh, everybody's here. Footsteps. You heard someone walking like, down there. Are there anybody buried down here? Like, there are still remains of people that um, well, fell foul to the ways of the Hellfire Club, still remain down here, yeah. To the heavens, to the All Father, ask for his guidance and protection while we're here. Can you make us unprotected? If you want. This is your chance. No veil, no protection. If you are an evil spirit or demon, then turn the light on. If you don't know what kind you... I don't think I signed up for this. Oh, look, oh, the nipples. Cat balls are off. Look, that's the flashlight. Oh, it's going down, down the hallway. Hey, hey, hey. Shadow in there. We have a black figure. That's the first time it's ever gone off for that long. All right, we're giving you exactly what you asked for. Beware, warrior. Oh my. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at the Hellfire Cave, where heaven meets hell. This is night 3 of 13 from our UK and Ireland series, Ancient Ram Inn, Pendle Hill, Poltergeist House, Loftus Hall, and many more are still to come. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel where we are dedicated to everything paranormal, spooky, mysterious, unsolved, who knows what's out there, could kill us in the middle of the night. Those lights just change color and that's really cool. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> We're still in our series where we've already been to Northern Ireland. We went into Ireland for the Hellfire Club and now we are finally in the UK. We're in England. Tonight we're at the Hellfire Caves, which is a continuation of everything that happened at the Hellfire Club, but it happened right here. There's even rumors that Benjamin Franklin was here. A lot of also dark and rumored satanic things have happened here. Uh, so we're gonna be meeting up with a guy that's gonna be giving us the history. We're also joining up with a psychic medium who's going to be cool. helping us communicate, which we haven't done in a very long time. Yeah. But as promised, because we're out here, there's the three of us, so we normally film with four. We're bringing in a special guest. His name is Dan. He's otherwise known as Exploring with Fighters. Dan, come on in. Get in, buddy. Hey! Nice man. to meet you. Glad, you. glad you invited me. Although, I don't know what I've got myself into here. No. I don't know. All right, and then do you want to introduce the next person that's joining us? All right, guys. Today, we have a very special guest. You might know him as Jack. Cut that out. Get in here, Jack! <laughs> Wait, like Samuel? Hey! <laughs> hey! What did you just say? What does that mean? Wait, did you just cast like... a whole shadow on you? Jack said, what are you? Jack so mean in person! Yeah, this is much better. <laughs> well, if you don't know, Jack is actually our editor. This is, we met him for the first time a few hours ago. So if it weren't for him, you probably would have gotten 10% of the videos you have yeah. over the last year. So. All right, well, should we head on in? You've never been here, right? I've not. No. And you've never been here. Myself. Okay. <laughs> no, he's actually Literally. scared. All right, well, I think if we head on in, they've already killed the lights for us. Uh, we have it entirely to ourselves, by the way. There's no one else here. Uh, they closed the gate, so we're the only ones. Uh, it is a half mile that we're going underground right now. Okay. So once we go in, we don't come out. Come on. All right. I'm a little freaked out now, though. You don't know when we leave? No. We're just getting locked in, and then we I, just we figure it out. I think we leave kind of whenever Are we, we get locked in when we want to leave. In our previous episode, we visited the Hellfire Club of Dublin, Ireland, known for its demonic paranormal activity due to the torture, torment, and years of satanic rituals and sacrifices that took place there. Yet tonight, we are visiting the location that started the infamy of the Hellfire name and all of the evil that was born from it nearly 300 years ago. Formed in 1746 by Francis Dashwood, the Hellfire Club operated with the motto, Do What Thou Wilt, which had no limitations, whether legal or moral. As their acts and immoral ambitions became more severe, they were in need of a location equally as secluded. 
The Hellfire Caves are a hand-carved cavern system just outside of London that stretch over 1,000 feet long underground. With numerous chambers and secret passageways, the furthest room, the Inner Temple, is known for the darkest activities and lies far from any other living souls in a place where no one could hear or find them. Where the Inner Temple was built is no coincidence. To get to it, you must cross an underground river they titled River Styx, with the name coming from Greek mythology, named after the river that separated Hades from his return to the mortal world. And once you have crossed the line between mortality, the inner temple you have entered is directly beneath St. Lawrence Church. The church above you represents heaven, and the chamber buried beneath the surface, where no screams could be heard beyond those inflicting them, was hell. Even the entrance to the cave itself looks as though it mocks a gothic church. The difficult labor to build the cave system was for the sole benefit of the malicious activities and the privacy held by the Hellfire Club members. It is even believed that Benjamin Franklin was once a visitor of the Hellfire Caves, but any records that may have proved this were all burned days before the collapse of the club. Member gatherings were held twice a month where they practiced dark magic, performed rituals that utilized sacrifices, and executed many other horrendous acts. Women were often secretly escorted into the caves, while their vision and identity were hidden underneath a white gown. Others were murdered here as simply part of a practical joke. We do not know the details of everything that took place in the caves, but we do know that it has documented poltergeist activity, shadow figures that watch you as you wander, spirits that like to play games, and paranormal entities intelligent enough to negotiate a deal to take a person's soul, if only for an evening. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. And if you hear or see anything during this video that we do not, please leave a comment and let us know. Oh my god. There's an actual letter from Benjamin Franklin. Sir Francis Dashwood. Oh, Can shit. you read it? A letter from Benjamin Franklin to Lord Le Dispenser. Dated April 14, 1774, about revising the wording on the scroll attached to the statue of William Penn. I'll be honest, Corey, I heard that you have a, a better British I'll go right ahead, maybe. Who heard... told you that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you won't be scared. <laughs> you won't be scared. <laughs> Jack has to be the guy that says that now. What? I can't say, do you want a biscuit anymore? Hello, sir. Hi, guys. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Elton, yeah. nice to meet you. Elton Paul. Matt. 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 Hi, Matt. Hey, Corey. Corey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jack. Mighty head. Dan. Dan, you all right? Yeah. Okay, guys. You're gonna head over the here. Were you just in here? I was just in here. Just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling in the caves. <laughs> the balls on the Brits. <laughs> Fantastic location. Are you prepared to be scared? Sure. That's good. We were at the Hellfire Club last night. So. Yeah. And yeah. it was terrifying. <laughs> this is gonna be worse. What? Yeah. Hmm. Poltergeist activity, rituals, ghostly figures, and right at the very bottom, we're gonna take you to hell. You guys been to hell before? I've been to Mexico. Not for a month. <laughs> <laughs> it's about as hot. <laughs> so yeah, loads and loads of sort of ghostly activity there. We've run ghost ups down here many times. We've seen ghostly apparitions. Uh, we've had stones thrown at us from the um, the banqueting hall. So yeah, be, be prepared. It's on its night. This place is hell. All right. Well, we'll follow your lead then. Yeah. Okay, so if you imagine this was like the, the main sort of meeting place for the Hellfire Club, so there'd be a great big table in here, maybe sort of uh, all quite sort of uh, plush. Um, what went on down here was sort of quite secretive. You mentioned earlier on Paul Whitehead. Now, Paul Whitehead was almost like what they call the steward. Um, now, three days before his death, he destroyed all the records. So we're left with sort of a lot of assumptions. What went on down here was sort of a lot of rich men, a lot of money, high society type people doing stuff that they shouldn't have been doing really. These little sort of cavey bits, the sort of cell bits, were where they would take sort of women for their own pleasure. Um, so there'd be lots of sort of, uh, yeah, women brought down here, there'd be children brought down here, there'd be sort of sacrifices done. So you They were killing people in these yeah, asylums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they were lawless, they were lawless. And it was all sort of done under, under the cover of, of, of this place. 
I tell from I'm Bradley you met earlier, where I we actually got a group of people and there's a little small tunnel that goes around the back of there. And we sort of got ten of us down there. And all of a sudden we were being pelted by stones and it was coming from this direction. So okay, we thought we'd better put some control measures in here, we checked there was nobody in here, we sort of all held hands, Brad was on one end, I was on the other, and the stones were coming through with the bars from from Wait, the like from these the little yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, No way. Yep. Uh, another one. No, that time. just happened. Yeah. Wait, what? As you started, as soon as you started talking, we both just kept hearing those. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's, it's something. It's almost like you can almost sort of guarantee it's going to happen down here. And I just looked over um, to this, this sort of tunnel bit here just on, on that side. And the way I can describe it is, you know, the neon neon tube lights. Yeah. When you crack. Yeah. It was like an outline of a face. You, you all know what sort of guy forks, the sort of stereotypical sort of guy forks, what it looks like with the sort of goatee beard. Yes, yes, yes. It was that that was looking back at us. Well, and it was just like a red neon light tube. It's the only way I can describe it. It was just standing there. Just sort of standing. Nobody, nothing. Just almost like that. Just for sort of five, six seconds. And I sort of got to the point where about four other people sort of just caught it and they described it perfectly. I said, what, just tell me what you've seen. And they described it. Yeah, it's like an outline of a face in red. The church is basically heaven. And when we go over the small sort of underground river, they called it the River Styx, that's when you're stepping into hell and you're directly underneath the church there. So they believe that ah. heaven was the church and hell was so where, the, so where the church went. is further down now. Yeah, and that's where they carry out their sort of their chants and their sort of um, pagan rituals, if you like, and their sacrifices. You can go hand carved. Wow. Like all of them were hand carved and then they built it in. Yes. Probably not. Oh my god. <laughs> the ghost hunting team for the renowned living TV program Most Haunted carried out an overnight vigil within the caves during December 2003. They said the caves were the darkest place they had ever visited. During the night, they had many paranormal experiences, seeing light orbs and hearing noises such as babies crying and stones hitting gates. Without prior knowledge of the mysterious Hellfire Caves, Derek Achora, the medium, felt the presence of a young girl dressed in white. Ladies of the night were said to have worn such attire to disguise themselves whilst entertaining club members in the caves. The program was first shown on April 20, 2004. Since then, the caves have had many overnight vigils carried out by other paranormal investigations team. None have left disappointed. So they did it with, uh, with us, highly advanced technical oh, gear, which we have, and a medium, which we also have. Hold and up. overnight, where? Where? and without where? lights. Where's that? There's no one else with us, is there? We're all here. There's, there's uh, everyone's here. Footsteps. You heard someone walking down there. Swear. Yeah, because I looked in there, I could bet you said. He looked at me and he was like, who's that? I was like, I don't know. No, we're all here. This is everyone. Yep. So, Jack? Yeah. Jack, how does investigation work? Do you have to go in there? Yeah, you have to go in there. 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 Yeah, okay, that's unnecessary. You know? that, 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 that just answers the question that you just asked me, really. I hate that I have to like angle a camera towards you. <laughs> yeah, like, we're, imagine, like, yeah, you're just a yeah. little too fires. tall. So there's no one else here? No. We just like scan the whole thing? Yeah. Jack said he wants to stay in here by himself. Oh. I heard, I, I also Jack, heard I, that. I, I heard, heard that, that from up there. I heard that. Yeah, I heard that too. I heard it. I wasn't even in the room, but I heard that. What was that? That was, that was a lot. What was that? <laughs> Look in there real quick, Evan. Oh, so, oh, it's the same sort of stuff you get. It almost like when you are sort of talking, they almost like trying to get your attention, and then when you stop, it's like yeah, silence. Do you think it's more malevolent or just more like they're just like messing with people? I think they like messing with people. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Okay, this is the underground, uh, the oh, underground river. Wow. Okay. So as you guys probably know, water carries par paranormal energy. Paranormal activity is usually heightened around water. This is without exception. Oh yeah. This is a real river. Yeah. yeah. What? No, no, no. Where would it go to if you? It just flows under the hill. It's not flows under the hill. Does yeah. it go out yeah. into the city yeah. or anything? Yeah, yeah. It just goes, goes out into the um, local sort of reservoir. So it sort of flows through. I feel like that girl from the ring is gonna. Jesus. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is basically heaven. Jack, you're this was heaven. This is heaven. <laughs> this is hell. Oh, so when you cross the bridge, or you then, cross the bridge. Um, yeah, you cross the river sticks. We're in purgatory right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's known as hell again. Right, as you go under there, you're right above, uh, right underneath the church. So that was their their heaven. This was their hell, and this is where they did their sort of debauchery, sacrifices, their 
rituals, their chants, um, yeah. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, this is it. Cozy. Uh, the fits are clean, though. Again, this to say this is this is as we as we come over the river sticks. This is where I've sort of um, you enter hell. So I don't know. It, in here, you are sort of total darkness. You can't see that. It's mm. just there's nothing. Prove it. Okay, what you tend to get down here when you, when you when you sort of bring people down in the dark is you know when somebody stands in your personal space like too close and you mm. want to back off you get that sensation constantly in here like almost, someone's just around you yeah somebody's like walking up to you and looking at you really close oh my and they're God. sort of stepping back and then they go to the next person yeah it's almost like somebody sort of is like oh. they just like that. yeah yeah <laughs> and then, then they're back off what? Yeah. What? Yeah. what what this is where all the, the, the bad Happened, the, 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 you know, the sort of the sacrifices, the pagan rituals, the chanting, um, that that kind of stuff. They sort of bring the, the sort of people down here, and they probably didn't come out alive. Whereas the in the banquet inn was more the um, the entertainment, if you like, the fun, the fun kind of sort of <laughs> hellfire club where they sort of were drunk and debauchery, and you know, sort of uh, yeah, help themselves to the uh, the women. Any any like estimates on how many people died down here or anything? It's completely yeah. Unknown? Yeah, Paul White had basically destroyed, spent three days destroying all the records. Um, and that, mm. that was sort of his, his sort of uh, legacy to the Hellfire Club, if you like. Are there anybody buried down here? Like There are still remains of people that um, sort of fell foul to the ways of the Hellfire Club, still remain down here, yeah. yeah. What? Okay. So, I didn't know someone ran into the wall. I totally just heard like a very loud scooting noise. And I turn around, and as we're walking out here, I just did a quick that, and then went back, and I swear, on the first turn. Yeah. On the first turn, probably like this high, it was just like, it kind of looked like something was lighting up back there. Behind us? But yeah, but as I did the double take, the second time I looked, there was nothing. But it was super faint. But it was only like this high. But, yeah, okay. Okay, we've had a, we've had a quick tour of the location. Um, Obviously, we've had some, a little bit of activity already with a few sto sort of stones being pinged, and um, as we got sort of further down, there was definitely sort of footsteps. Something that goes on here quite a lot. You do get followed. Um, they do try and get your attention. Um, now, for me, for me, just from experience of being here, um, the, the cave itself, the main banqueting cave. If, if you're in there and you're sort of quite noisy and quite sort of loud, that's when you tend to get the activity. It's almost when you stop silent. It's almost like they go silent. You start sort of talking and that, you're going to get stuff thrown at you tonight. Um, you're, going to, you're going to see shapes, you're going to see uh, quite a lot of shadows moving around. As we go further down um, towards the, um, the area um, where Suki is, um, just before you sort of cross the river sticks, again there, uh, in that sort of quite narrow tunnel, you, you almost get um, quite a tall, dark um, energy. Uh, almost like a shadow man, if you like, and he he will sort of step up and step really close and be sort of, sort of quite menacing, uh, and people want to sort of step back. Um, it's almost like he's in your personal space, he's looking at you, sort of sussing you out, um, and then he'll sort of move on to the next person. So if there's three or four of you down there, you know you, you're going to feel like you're going to you're going to um, experience that with, without a doubt. So yeah, to me those are the those are the sort of two main areas to sort of focus on. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, how you doing, Matt? Good to meet you, Very nice to meet you. Pleasure. Anyone else comes upstairs? Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure. Down. 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 So you are white witch, psychic medium, healer? A little bit of everything, yeah. Okay. Uh, if it's to do with anything uh, weird and far out and uh, otherworldly, obviously I've done remote viewing and astral travel and all kinds of weird stuff, but uh, from the witchcraft point of view, is yeah, would be considered a white witch, working for the purposes of healing and good and for the light. How often are you here? Because I'm imagining if you're in more of the light form of magic and healing, this probably isn't a place that's known for that. Uh, well, no, not so much, no. But um, obviously, you need good protection. And whatever you do, I mean, for instance, I do exorcisms on what? Uh, sick homes and houses. But a lot of that time is to do with geopathic stress, or you've got issues um, with sick house syndrome. Uh, there's all kinds of reasons why a house can get sick or a place can get sick. 
So then what you find is you'll have people attracted there that are possibly of a similar disposition to the sickness that's going on. And that's probably, in my opinion, how you get something creative like this in the first place. I think you might be the first person we've ever met that's done an exorcism. Yeah. Right? The exorcisms, yeah. On, on, on buildings. So like a room cleanser, in a way. Yeah, we do a whole home. Um, most places that have issue with, with spirit energy or ghosts or hauntings tend to be either built over underground running water or very close to running water. Um, I've been, we've been out with friends, used to work in Leeds, and they, they'd, uh, we'd come out for a few drinks and a night out, and they didn't tell me that they had uh, spirits in the home that were troublesome. I sat in the car and all of a sudden I just felt this force on my hand, my palm, and I looked down and there was just a big black square in the palm of my hand and it was like a bruise, a big bruise. Yep. And I uh, spoke to them the next day and then it sobered up. Uh, and they was like, oh yeah, we didn't tell you we've got a problem in the house. Apparently there is a little girl who, who plays upstairs in the courtyard and she comes out when the place has been closed in the night. Mm -hmm. um, she'll kind of, uh, it looks like she's either from the Victorian times or, or uh, slightly earlier than that. But she's not necessarily Coming out to see children. Where do you think would be the most activity? Probably down, just down towards this tunnel here. Towards the river sticks. Yeah. 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 No. Style. <laughs> I don't know, but North Faith, you're dressed like angels. You're so style, bro. You look like a Kmart catalog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. We'll follow his lead and he'll create the divide. Alright, so we're going to take the uh, divide in line through the middle again. And can you make us unprotected? If you like. Yeah. <laughs> this half, we want to have no protection, so whatever might be here. And then that side can be safe. Fair and enough. I'm curious to see. Yeah, if anyone gets in trouble, I'll come and help out, obviously. Sure. By the way, is this is this about the area that you could see the man being strangled? Yeah, it'd be around here. Which side would it be on? Uh, it'd be right, pretty much right here, just before where the river is. So your side. Yeah. <laughs> so our side. That's your side. <laughs> but one of many, I'm sure. Whatever you'd like to do to create the divide. Let's go ahead. Yeah. And, uh, stand, <laughs> stand up here, here ready. Yeah. yeah. So we're just in case the safe side. Make the divide too big. Draw the energy spreads. down. And, uh, um, so if you do get freaked, you can always just go through the curve. Mm. Come back to the safe side. Is that all we have to do if, if we just get? Yeah. Just imagine you just will be yeah. pushing through the curtain and coming oh, back through right. to safety if you do feel that there's anything there. So. Uh, Right, so that's little now, that's really, that's, that's there. I'm going to step back from it now and just let it fall closed before me. And, uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, we're going to go to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Have, Have fun party. in your studio we're gonna, apartment. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to go watch Kobe play and Prince is going to do a concert after. <laughs> yeah. So. Have fun. We should do a trade because I have all the tools and you have nothing. What percentage of your soul for a REM pot? Ooh. 0.3 what Ethereum. What about 1% of his whole for 0.3 Ethereum for a REM pod? Mm -hmm. It's actually, it took a, took a thousand. It's actually a thousand bucks. Took a thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, well, Ethereum's 3,600 today. So. Oh, my bad. What do you want, my left shoe for a REM pod? Oh, look, we can just cross over. I'll go look who's in hell. Go into hell real quick. Here we go. I got you. Be right back. I'll be right back. What are you doing over there? I'm getting the REM pod. I'll give you 50% of TFIL. TFIL soul? We sold that all the time ago. What do you got? I'll do a music box. Yep. Um, a REM pod. Yep. And, uh, and and a flashlight. Okay. That's what's up for grabs. What's your best offer? You've actually. 
What do you say? No. I'll leave Matt in a room by himself. What the f In heaven? <laughs> 30 minutes on your own. 30 minutes? I like the negotiation. That's a good 30. one. 30! No, make, make it 40. Make it 40. What? what? Oh. How about we meet in the middle? 15. You're the only person in the entire cave system. No, what the? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The entire no. What's your counter? What's your counter? Corey and I are the only ones in the entire cave system. No, no lights whatsoever. What? <laughs> how long? Though? Yeah, how long, Jack? How long? You set the terms. I reckon a solid forty minutes. You can say months. <laughs> <laughs> I go that much time. Music box. Mm -hmm. Flashlight. Mm -hmm. Thermal. For 25 minutes. For 25 minutes. I think it's a good deal. But this, is this after we've already- No, Elden, no, Elden, no, Elden, no, Elden, no, 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 no. you're coming to heaven. You're coming to heaven. Join <laughs> Jesus, Elden. It's off. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, 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 what a catch. Oh, oh God, what a catch. So Sorry, this is our guardian angel. Do you see him? <laughs> Do you see him? He saved us. I like how you got dragged into this. I used to do drag. <laughs> racing, right? <laughs> racing, yeah, 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 racing. I'll give you my 10 year Disney Cruise Line no. card <laughs> if Evan or Ryan can come with us. No. Or it's Ryan with an eye vision camera and completely blacked out. Yeah, and, he doesn't, and he doesn't get to talk to you. That's fine. What if whosoever team says, do you want a biscuit the best? When's Ryan yeah. 50 feet away? Yeah. We need his judge. Okay. Do you want a judge? Yeah. Okay. Do you want a bloody biscuit? Do you want a biscuit? That was good. That you was want a biscuit? That was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Ask them, you have the biscuit, they have none. Now offer them one. Frequency just stang oh my eardrums. <laughs> Who won? Who won? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Oh, oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh, it's because it was hot when he said it. Let's what go! Oh, he's gonna get some butter! He pull your biscuit! Does that, does that take away one minute? Now 29 minutes instead of 30? Where are these rules coming from? Also, it's 25. It's 25 minutes. Yeah, 30 is <laughs> so 24 now. minutes. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching 15 minutes of nothing. We're gonna go investigate. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why it takes him so long to edit our video. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you get caught. Dude, caught, you're, caught, just caught. Here, you're just like, dude. I'm gonna cut <laughs> all of this. If anything happens. Mm -hmm. Keep Remember that. Down. Okay. We'll see you guys in heaven in like a half hour. Sounds good. Okay. We'll move the table before we get there. You want to do that? Yeah. yeah. Right here. <laughs> if it falls, then we gotta get get it to the Like that. Yeah. Yo, there's literally nothing there. Wow. Why is it going crazy? Maybe back there, the border. Yeah, I wish the spirit box would work down here. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I mean, you can try, yeah. We don't mean you any harm. We'll go soon, I promise, I promise. We won't be here too long, we're just here to meet you. Is that you making the music box go off?
Dude, it's, it, I don't think it's ever gone off for this long, ever. Did you hear what you were saying it was? No. Who? You're saying it's about you. Yeah, it's about a, 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 a short, disfigured guy who's got a little bit of hair on his face. He's got a disfigured old man. He's basically about was up and down here. He's just been a bit agitated with his being here. Saying, well, you know, just go as soon as you can. He shouldn't be here this time of night. Don't really want you here, but. Does he not want us here, or does no, something no. else not want us here? He, he doesn't want us here, he's just, I think he, he's, he seems like quite a solitary type of chap. I can see that. So, yeah, he's like, no, no, no. It's not like people around. He's not threatening us, he's just saying, you can leave whenever you want. Yeah. Just leave him around. Yeah, he's going down the tunnel. He's down the hall. Is he down the hall? He's going down the tunnel too. To wash his feet. That's the first time it's ever gone off for that long. This is the only device that I'm like very skeptical about. But the theory behind it is like spirits have energy. They can use the energy through this device and trigger one of the words that's programmed into it. Because there's 150,000 words logged into it. Okay. And then that's the theory is that they can trigger a particular word. Sometimes it goes off very frequently, and sometimes it never does. Right. Um, like right off the bat, saying. Okay. Which is weird because it's actually pretty accurate to say a manual task. Yes, yeah, so it's pretty. What are the words? Uh, the first one was manual and then task, which this <coughs> entire place is built by hand. An apocalypse. Mm. And Could be on this way. Yeah. If there are any spirits in here that do want to communicate with us tonight, could you turn that flashlight off? Thank you. If you're still in this room with us and you still want to talk to us, can you turn the flashlight back on? No way. A hard click. A hard click. Dude. Yo. That is ridiculous. Turn off on cue, on on cue. Thank, thank you so thank much for communicating with us. This is your chance. No veil, no protection. We're sat here willingly open. Come and get us. If you're an adult, will you please turn the lights off again? If you're a child, leave it on. If you're an adult, turn it off. Please. Stay. 
to get in contact with us. A spit. Make it bleep twice if you're here with us. If you're a spirit or even if you're a demon or something evil. Does that mean no? What does that mean? It means it's sat on them. By shop, is that you sitting in the window shopping for which one of us you want to choose? Alright, just like how I do, ready? You can get the light and that. Incredible. You can take the energy and the battery from that light and use it to touch the device that we just put next to it. If you do want to talk to us, can you touch that new device? If you'd like for us to leave, will you touch the device? So it's just a flashlight. It's a mag light. Oh, is it the one that they can twist? Exactly. Oh, right. So just right in between. And you actually have to have some level of force. Yeah. To yeah. Turn that off. Yeah. Or like some kind of energy that can bridge the, the magnet yeah. together. Because it doesn't ever twist it. You know, you don't see it twist. But yeah, you can finish the connection. Why would it do this? Is there something moving? <laughs> Yo, it literally stopped when you just put your hand on it. Do it again. Yeah, literally. I'm literally like blocking it entirely and it's still going off. That was the flashlight? Yeah. yeah. That was the flashlight. I kind of hate that being on because you can see it. <laughs> if this is a new tool for you, I'm sure you figured out that if you take your energy away from it, you can turn it off. Oh my god. I heard that. That was impressive. You figured out that tool really quickly. You turned it on the second I put it there and you turned it off as I explained it. Oh, 
the cap on music box. Yeah. You got here? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go walking down this hall now. If you want to follow us, you can. We're only here to find out if there is possibly life after death. Whether or not you get trapped or the heinous crimes you committed were, or if you choose to live wherever your most beloved place was. So if you could, you're ahead of the curve. Is there anybody here who'd like to communicate with us? Did you hear that, Ryan? What did you hear? I swear someone was just rubbing up against me. If you are an evil nasty spirit or demon then turn the light on if you don't know what kind you that's three times in a row it's like answering before we can even finish the sentence i was gonna ask if they know which one they are mm -hmm. Or if they know that they're dead. That's weird. That's actually a good question. I never thought to ask that one. Whether or not they even realize that they're gonna need the light bulb. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't answer. I just about said we need the light bulb. I've never seen this before. Do we have the audio recorder? I can get it. I've never seen this before. Isn't that wild? That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like so it's holy sh it's like very responsive. It's like not even responsive, it's like it already knows exactly Intelligent. what Intelligent. Mm -hmm. But you gotta think there's, there's something still that. Okay, I hope that I just really touched the arch like that. Because I just saw something. Wait, isn't that exactly what David said that by dropping the veil it allows the entity to get inside of us? What? No, don't start with that. No, I mean that's what David said. He was saying really? that by like removing the protection, it I'm can not having a demon coming out. It's answering every question before we can even ask it, as if it already knows. How would it know what we're going to ask if it wasn't already in our head? This is going to worry me if it answers it. Do you want to take all for our bodies? Oh, Oh my god. Bro. Bro. <laughs> no. I met, dude, I met you like three hours ago. <laughs> no. Where's that Bro. fire exit? No, seriously. I don't think I signed up for this. <laughs> if you like the sound of that music that was playing earlier, you can just walk down the hall towards that box we have set up on the table, and it'll play music again for you. What was that? That wasn't wind. That was like rumbling. That was not a bet. That ball's going off in there. In the other room. In the other room. Yeah. Go off again, go off again. Where is it? It's still see, see the light flashing? Can you pick that up on that camera? I don't know. It just stopped. After that. Door. Go through After the door. Yeah, go, that, that, go that way. Go that far away. Do you not want to live again? Because you prefer living in hell. You prefer being in the underworld. This is Yo. It was just like like a, a flutter, like a type of noise. It could have been, but I haven't seen any bats this deep in the cave.
If you're playing with us, we have a device on the other side of this cell. And if you touch the antenna, it'll make a beeping noise. Are you asking for one of our permission to enter one of our minds and souls? Is that what you want? Is that what you need? Are you too weak to do it yourself? Or you need the help? shopping and now we're figuring out that it's trying to get one of us two two uh, younger children uh -huh. that have been down here recently and my spirit love boys love boys only like 12 13 now I think they send us uh, practicing this cheek on us uh. they like the lights and they're probably not used to it no. yo Whoa. Bro, it just went on and off three times. You haven't set off the device by the door in a while. This one, I'll give you a reminder. If you can come closer and set that off again, I'll give you permission to try and do whatever it is that you want with me. The other device. Maybe it doesn't have enough energy for that one. If I'm going to allow something to try and take over my mind or body, I need to prove that you have enough intelligence and power to do so. Turn off the flashlight and set off the REM pod. And you'll have proven yourself. Step one. If you can make that device beep by the gate again. Oh, We're not messing with this is something serious. Down here. Get the f out. Bro, that has strength. Where's that 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 man needs to get down here? Because I'm not having yeah, oh, 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 there's a shadow in there. Behind the black, behind the black figure, something just walk, walked across. There's a black figure right in, right in front behind the, behind the lady, and something went across the back of it. A deal's a deal. Come on forward. They sure. For the record, crazy shit I've ever gotten. Yeah. Yeah, me too. You've seen every video. I've never seen this. Do you like the lights? Can you turn the flashlight on again for us? Oh my. This is. Alright, okay, buddy. Okay. Um, it's okay, we like playing games with you. Yeah. Do you maybe want to toss some rocks? Do you want to pick some pebbles up and see who can throw the furthest? You can go first. Like, 
Okay, if you prefer the light. <laughs> so, okay, so how we can play the game is leave the flashlight off, please, and whenever the answer is yes, turn it on and then back off again, okay? <laughs> okay, question number one. Are you a little boy? Are you a little girl? Are you a grown man? You do realize when Matt and Corey come down here, you can't say anything. Well, I can, but it'll sound like, oh, you're actually gonna hide. <laughs> huh? You're actually gonna hide. If I could open the gate, I'd come closer. Permission to try what you wish. I will admit, you might be the most intelligent entity we've ever met. You were able to control two different devices at will. Can you give us a sign that you're still here? Yo. Alright, so I swear to God, I have something to watch right now. See how the light green right there on the wall? Yeah. I watched it like cut the black and the music box. Oh, you're still here. You're still here. Okay, okay. It's like flashing on and off. Okay, you have our attention. We just want to ask you some questions. Can you answer them the way we ask, please? Okay, okay. Do you want me in the room with you where all the sacrifices were made? Can you step to the gate one more time and set off the device? I do not believe anyone has been let back there in over 50 years. That wasn't working. If you can set off the device, we'll go and find the key. And you can have me in your chambers for whatever you'd like. Is it true that hell is located directly under the church, deeper into the tunnel? Shall we go down there? I know we're asking a lot for you, but I'm offering equally as much. Are you the kidding me? What the f*** is going on? We're getting the key. Get the f*** out. This is insane. To alternate and go back and forth. Alright. They really want you in there. We're gonna try and get the key. Paralysis. Paralysis? What <laughs> the hell? Bro, paralysis. Never heard that word pop up on the obvious before. So do we leave you here and go get the key? <laughs> what the f I mean, what the f just happened? I mean, yeah. Beware, warrior. Oh. I might do. Maybe, maybe they're on about effort to beware. I think, this, I think what we're messing with is a warrior. Well, Evan's on the safe side now. I don't even want to f***ing look at him. He'd have to worry about down there. This wasn't there. I'm curious. I wonder if we crossed over. If this would stop. If we, like, once we left to the other side. Should we try? We should try. I'm really curious to see if that'll stop going off. 
It's like he's still there and not wanting to sleep. That's what I'm saying. And, and if David's accurate in his description, then what he put up here is a veil that the entity in there couldn't see through. Which means it could no longer see us. Why did Evan just do that? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What happened? Sorry about it. Huh? So, uh, notice what side we're on? Yeah. Cool, stay on this side. What, did something crazy happen? Did Evan literally what gone? Happened? Wait, wait, what happened? Evan's running right now to get something. Who's behind you? Holy oh. is that? Oh my god, I forgot David was here. Oh, god. Dude, I was like, I don't recognize that face. Dude, Evan didn't Wait, say so a word to us. What is he going to get? What happened? Yeah, he didn't say <laughs> Somebody else want to have a go? Sure. sure. Try. It's the right key. When was the last time anyone was in here? Uh, last week. Like for staff or like non-staff? Non-staff. Look at um, that. The, the guy went open for me. Uh, careful of the rim pod, because it pushes in. Just mind your fingers. Um, we don't normally let people in here. All right, gents. I'm opening up the uh, the gate to hell. All right. All right. We're giving you exactly what you asked for. Should I close this behind me? Yeah. Yeah. Just to be like extra creepy. Go ahead. Oh, no, you're gonna be alone. Go. Yeah. Shut up. Everyone's gonna check the door and make if you want, pretty sure the locking key is still. Where'd the locking key go? Right here. Well, up to you. Oh, look, look, cat balls, cat balls are off. Look, that's a flashlight. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, look at that. What the f is going on in there? Is it still going on? Did you hear the music box, too? I did. The cat ball still The music box, the music box. Okay, we gotta go up there. The cat balls are going crazy. I just had a heart attack. That's the flashlight, dude. You do have the flashlight. I have it. Dude, the cat ball is still going on. It was on now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so that's how you do it. Oh, dude. Wait, this is the one on the other side. Ryan, no joke, you gotta get up here, dude. You can stand a little more, stand over here. Stand, like, get out of the hole. Check the It's going down, down the hallway. It was going up, we can come this way. Come on, Ryan, this way. Alright, we gave you exactly what you wanted. Showed us your abilities, and we got the key. So if you'd like to make your presence known again to make sure that I am still in here with you, you have the flashlight still on the gate. You now have a motion sensor light in the center of the table. Give us a sign that you're still here. We want to make sure that we're not speaking to nothing and to no one. Oh, Thank you. Now there's one more device here in the center that only one time ever has gone off. And it takes a tremendous amount power. If you can set that one off, everyone that watches this video will know that one of the most powerful entities we've ever encountered resides right here. What the f Is it just news in the back? Is it just news in the back? Oh, 
So I'm going to walk around the room where I am, when I am where you need me, you can make either device go off. Doing my best to help you keep my promise. Was someone or something playing with our music box while we were gone? Do you like the sound of the music? Interesting. Interesting. If you want to, you can go stand or dance in front of the music box again, and it will make the music start playing. Yeah, that wasn't no little flicker. Yeah. You don't know what era you're trapped in, what time or what space or what you see that's different than from what I see. But I'm sure you had your tools, your weapons that you would use on your victims on a table in the center of the room. So go ahead and reach for one. You did it before. You could go from one device to the other. You've used the flashlight. Now go to the table. Turn the flashlight off if you want us to play the music box for you if it's taking too much energy out of you to do it. Okay, so we can play it. Okay, we'll play it for you for a little bit, okay? You can turn the flashlight back on if you like that. All you have to do is walk in front of it. Like that. As soon as it started playing, the light came on. Should we move this maybe in front of the light? No, it's something's in the hall. I mean, it's possible that this is what it wants, but it doesn't have the energy to give it like the power. Yeah, maybe it's right on. Okay. Or maybe you're too strong minded for it. It's possible. Last chance. They really did lock it. You evil <laughs> Did you expect any less? This is heavy. So, you have the key. Five demons. <laughs> or hello, little little child demons. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go find the others. We need to start heading out now because they actually have tours here soon in the morning. So you have to tell us now what happened. What happened? I think we made a deal with the demon. That's pretty accurate, right? Yeah, that's very accurate. That's accurate? What? We were literally able to ask it what device to set off when, and it did it. No way. It all would cute. alternate, yeah. We'd be like, set off the flashlight, and then turn it off, and then set off the REM pod. And the REM pod would go off for like 10 minutes, and literally it would go one, two. And it would literally go on cue, and then we'd be like, REM pod, then the flashlight, and then it'd be REM pod, then the flashlight. And it'd pretty much like finish our sentences off for us before we could even How finish so? the question. Like with the torch, was it? It was like in our head. Like it knew yeah. what we were gonna ask. So it's interesting, you guys had a pleasant experience. For the most part. And we had the contract. And we did the divide. It worked. But tomorrow's uh, Jack the Ripper. We're going to the museum where they have a bunch of artifacts connected to the crime. Then we're going to Pluckley Village. You're with us for the rest of the... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I didn't know I was getting into, but... <laughs> You're in now. I'm in it for the, for the full... Yeah, it's 
Yeah. yeah. It's I'm excited. Yeah. Nervous. <laughs> Nervous, but excited. All right, should we skedaddle? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's skedaddle, guys. What is a skedaddle exactly? Yeah. <laughs> I, think it's, I feel like it's a skedaddle. Like a <laughs> Wait, I thought a skedaddle was going to be like that. God. What is that? That's a skedaddle. Is that how I feel like a skedaddle? That was kind of good. Yeah. I think a skedaddle is like a cartoon when like I mean, you I'm can't impressed. get an attraction. You're like. <laughs>